Hey, goeiedag or good day and welcome back to the Killer Paint Job channel. This time I will be testing the new silicone painting mat from Greensoft World, of course. I mean, hi sponsor. <laughs> I noticed you guys had a lot of questions about this mat and, well, I did too. They claim it's non-stick, waterproof, easy to clean and has an anti-slip surface. Well, that last one is very easy to test. Let's see. Um, okay, it's mostly the table moving, but yeah, it's not bad. What I myself am mostly interested in is the fact that it should be non-stick and easy to clean. And so the big question here is which products can you use on this mat and which can't you use? I made a nice selection of products to test and hopefully I don't ruin this mat, but if I do, you don't have to. I'm going to test acrylic paint, alcohol paint, metallic paint, interference paint, fluor paint, blood effect, wash, ink, ground texture, rust texture, pigments and liquid mask. On the other side, I will be testing the stickiness of Milliput, Green Stuff, Sculpey, UV Resin, but also brush cleaner, alcohol, well, the cat hair is everywhere, plastic glue, PVA, super glue, master medium, and enamel thinner. The cat hair truly sticks great to this mat, it's all over the place. I am mostly nervous about the super glue the enamel thinner, because I think it will ruin the mat, but also the alcohol paint and the ink. I think it might stain it. Here you can see the nice selection of products I picked. Yes, it's mostly Greens of World products, but that is because I mostly use Greens of World products. I didn't want to buy any other brands simply for this test. I'm a big fan of use what you have. But of course I had to test the legendary non-oil, because we have all spilled at least one bottle of non-oil. I know you did. I'm also testing these metal pigments, see if they get into the mat at all. And of course, here is all the sticky stuff, including the cat hair. <laughs> So I wonder if this enamel thinner will actually eat a hole in the mat or not, but we'll see. And I'm going to test two different types of super glue, a gel type and the normal type. So with no further ado, let's get to testing and hopefully don't ruin this thing. This silicone mat is meant for you to be testing all your color schemes before you apply it to your miniature. So you don't actually have to sacrifice uh, a plastic mini or whatever it is you use to test, maybe like I used to do on a plastic spoon. And when you're satisfied with the colors, you could simply wash the mat off and use it again for another project. What is also nice about this mat is that it should be non-stick. And as you can see here with the green stuff, it just did not want to stick to the mat. I had to force it down with a tiny bit of violence. Just stay there, you just got the green stuff. Stay. Good. <clears throat> okay. Good boy. On to the Sculpey, the UV resin. I simply smeared it on and used the torch. The UV torch. The normal one doesn't work. While we are hobbying and into the zone, we often drop stuff, like the non-oil for example, but also um, some glue can drip down and you don't want your mat ruined by spilling glue, don't you? So of course I wanted to test all these products on the mat as well, see if they will actually ruin the mat or can be taken off just as easily as the paint. And because I had two different types of super glue, I wanted to test them both because that could mean two different responses. I want to be sure they both can be used. 
at first glance there doesn't seem to be any kind of reaction to the mat, which is great news. And I'm looking for warping of the mat, but there's nothing there. Also the green stuff and the millipods and the UV resin all seems fine. No weird re- uh, wait, the enamel thinner. I think I might be right about that one. It's creating a mountain. Oh shit. That isn't a huge amount of thinner. That's the actual mat that is forming a mountain. Okay, so after I have let it dry overnight to be sure it was actually dry as can be. Um, still no weird reactions on the paint parts. No warping, no leakage. It all seems fine. Let's see how this part is holding up. Uh, I can see anything weird, but... Yeah, okay. This enamel thinner is doing magic. <laughs> it's completely gone. There is no visible mountain anymore. Uh, there is not even a sign it was warped yesterday. I'm glad I caught that when it first happened. Besides these parts where you can test, there is also in this upper part a place for you to test out your colors on a knight, on a man, on a woman, on a tech suit of some sort. And I'm also going to see if you can actually use this mat as a, a quick palette. I mean, I was asked about this on Instagram, so just testing it out to make you happy. I don't have the best camera for this filming work, but you just have to trust me when I say I'm blending some colors here, just to see if it actually works. And using metallic paints as well. I mean, that small test is all fine, but well, this is a night. I wanted to use more metallic paints and test it better. So yeah, I'm just doodling away, just a simple test to see how it works and try to make this a silly masterpiece. I hope you like it. With all the testing almost done and colorful as can be, I wanted to see if I can take all the sticky parts of the silicone mat. And as you can see, I'm quite successful. The milliput came off, the green stuff came off, the UV resin came off. And this is after I have let it dry overnight. Don't forget that. So it's pretty on there. But it's not. Which is great. <laughs> well, okay, I, I do have a small problem. Um, so the super glue. Yeah, the gel type super glue. That one did not work out. It fused to the mat and... The only way to get it off is to cut it out. So now I know that the sticky stuff didn't stick to the mat and the chemicals didn't actually eat up this silicone mat. I want to add a fresh layer of paint and ink and all the effects I've tried before. So I have a good comparison when I wash it off, well hopefully wash it off, with the dried and fresh product. I have no idea what to expect here but Let's start with plain water. I'm trying to firstly wipe it off, but it has dried a tiny bit in the meantime, so I'm just going to spray some water on it. And as you can see, it instantly comes off quite a bit. This is a good sign if you ask me. I keep cleaning until everything is gone, but I noticed there are some parts which are, well, quite on there. So I hoped to simply take them off with a cloth, but nah, not really. It's very dried on there. I have a new idea. Let's try with isopropyl alcohol. Nice. My tip for you, use alcohol to clean your mat. It works amazing. 
Now Mr. Knight is completely clean. I'm going to try to take off the products one by one. And hopefully the dried paint and the fresh paint will both come off quite easily. And as you can see, some of the paints and products I can just take off with my finger. I don't even have to scrub them off with the cloth. So, so far I'm very happy. Ooh, I found another product you should not use on this silicone mat. As you can see, the liquid mask that I had left to dry overnight has left this, well, it, it's a bit of a nicotine colored spot. And I checked later on and it's completely gone through the mat as well. So the backside also has the same discoloration. Which is a shame. I did not think it would have the reaction like that. The rest of the products came off beautifully and no problems at all. Not even the metallic paint, um, not even the ink. So far a great success. And I cleaned it off in the sink to start this new test. I will be now testing some basing products. Um, also more testing of the cat hair. I want to show you how to take it off when you have, just as me, cat hair everywhere. This is Ava. And as you can see, she's a bit shy. On to big boy Graham. And I want to get as much cat hair off him on the mat as I can. So scritchy scratch until he's happy. You're welcome. I'm just rubbing it in. <laughs> and on to the next test. I will use some spray glue. And some powdered snow on there. A bit of static grass and even some fine sand. Just get it all over the mat and see if I can get it off as easily as the paint or maybe even better. As you can see I'm just shaking most of it off and then I'm going to clean it with well simply some water. And as you can see just as I can it comes off instantly. It's very easy to just wipe it off, wipe it clean. I didn't have any bit left, no cat hair, no sand, no static grass, not even snow. My conclusion? It's indeed non-sticky. It is easy to wash off with alcohol. Acrylic paints, metallic paints, putties, it all seems to work fine, but this of course are my findings on my test. I would also like to say don't use this as a cutting mat because it's really not. Hopefully I have given you a nice insight on what you can expect from this mat and if you would like to get one for yourself go check it out on greenstuffworld.com That's it for this video. Stay humble, be kind, see you in the next video or maybe even on Instagram.